Today we have a potential leaked list of games coming to the upcoming presumed Nintendo Direct. Oh, and also some new information coming out, leaked from box art, actual box art from Nintendo for the upcoming Kirby release. That's right. Remember Kirby? Return to Dreamland Deluxe coming out? It looks like Nintendo's doing even more with this game than you realize, and we're not just talking the new copy abilities they announced on social media, but rather an entirely new set of content for the game. Oh boy, are you excited? I know I am. Just like I'm excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, E-Win Racing. And don't worry, there's a, a timestamp if you want to skip it. When it comes to buying a gaming office chair, don't just trust anyone. Trust E-Win Racing, who has a chair just the right size for you. Trust me, one size doesn't fit all. <laughs> can relate to this guy right there. That's why Ewin Racing offers five different size chairs so you can get the exact fit to your height and weight. Don't settle for your local pickup, it's free, or Facebook Marketplace lightly used chairs. Well, thanks to discount code Nintendo Prime, you can take a chair from Ewin Racing that's over $200 and get it for just $183. Whoa! Is that still a bit steep for your wallet today? Well, thanks to Klarna and Afterpay, you can split your payment for your chair into four payments over four months, completely interest-free, no credit check required. That way, you can get your much-needed chair today. So what are you waiting for? Get your chair to complete your gaming setup right now. Just be sure to use code Nintendo Prime at checkout to get your 20% off. Link will be in the description or the additional text attached to this video. <laughs> So first let's talk about the Kirby stuff because this is legit. This is something verifiable. This is something that we're able to see by going to retailers and looking at advertising box art for this game and glancing at the back. And this is a brand new mode being added to the game when you beat it. So this is gonna be content you can do afterwards. And it's the Muggalore Epilogue. That's what it's called. We don't actually know what it's going to be jam-packed with or how much content's going to be there or how long it's going to be or how many stages and levels and stuff that's going to go on. We obviously already know about the four-player, multiplayer, and everything and every mode and every piece of content. We know about the new copy abilities that Nintendo announced on social media, but we didn't know about this extra post-game content. So this just makes Kirby Return to Dream Lime Deluxe just that much better. It's always nice to see when Nintendo adds extra content to games. We saw this back with like Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition when they added an extra content to help bridge over into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and 3. So look, that's really interesting. I love that Nintendo's working on new content when they bring this stuff out. Bowser's Fury, remember that mode in Super Mario 3D World. So it's just great to see Nintendo putting more attention to detail into these releases and not just doing the stock standard port job, similar to what we get usually with Nintendo Switch Online, although adding online services is nice. GoldenEye, a little bit of a mess for some people, but I digress. It's still nice to see these games brought over outside of the typical like Wii U game port job, like giving some extra attention to detail and fresh content. Now next up we have a game leak that also helps lead into a potential direct leak. Look, this stuff, I can't verify any of it. It's just rumors, but it looks really, really interesting. First up is Zippo, and Zippo's gonna matter a bit more in a moment for the other leak we're gonna talk about. But he's basically saying that we're getting a new Mario baseball game. His post says, batter up. A new Mario sports game is on the way. Hey, batter, batter. In today's NS news, Nintendo is preparing a brand new Mario sports game, this time being developed by Bandai Namco and now production. This is very likely to be a new installment in the Mario baseball series, which hasn't seen a new entry since 2008's Mario Super Sluggers, though baseball did appear in Mario Sports Superstars for the 3DS in 2017. Now, I'm sure you're asking Zippo, what the hell is now production? If you played the aforementioned previous baseball games as well as the original Sonic Riders, you'll know the latter devs work immediately. They were also the developers of last year's excellent Pac-Man World remake, among many others. Game Explains' very own Tris Valbueno also pointed out something that I thought was quite interesting. Last year, it was discovered that Nintendo randomly started updating Daisy renders. One of them, interestingly enough, was from Mario Super Sluggers of all games. Notice the slightly different skin tone that's in line with Daisy's most recent appearances. Now, I wouldn't call it evidence per se, but it's definitely something worth pointing out. The only question we have now is, of course, how will they mess it up this time? 
10 characters, a meager story mode, terrible post-launch support, bad net code. That remains to be seen, but I'm certainly not getting my hopes up here. You guys know what time of the year it is. A Direct is likely not far away. Nintendo has been very quiet so far. Hopefully we hear more soon. Oh, by the way, do you guys think this could have a guest character? Waka waka. <laughs> you guys can take a shot of that one if you want did anyone else hear a really weird distinct noise just now came out of nowhere maybe it was just me my ears ain't so good anymore anyways uh so there's the zippo stuff i know some of you guys uh don't like zippo or or, or think zippo's uh, full of crap i know emily rogers has said that she thinks zippo just maybe talks way too soon about games and so when they get canceled it just looks bad for him. But so next up, I want to talk about this Nintendo Direct leak. And this is where Zippo maybe ties in a bit. So this leak actually came from 4chan. You guys know we don't talk about a ton of stuff from 4chan. But you know what? With an upcoming Direct, if there was going to be a leak for it, we have seen in the past that Direct lineup leaks have happened on 4chan and ended up being correct. So it's at least considering we'll see what happens on this uh, leak actually happened way back on December 23rd and I chose not to cover it because again it's 4chan I need to see some evidence and I guess the evidence in this case is the possible Zippo stuff talking about that baseball game so let's get into the stuff they say are going to be in this direct the first thing they note is that the revealed games so far are all going to be in there right so Bayonetta Origins Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp Kirby uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin 4 the only Really notable thing in here is that they're saying Pikmin 4 is coming in fall of 2023 and that Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp is going to be launching on March 24th, 2023. So I guess they give us an exact date for Advanced Wars. If that ends up being the date announced, I guess that's going to be pretty cool and awesome and amazing. And this, by the way, predates all those Advanced Wars being relisted things. So they were calling this back then. We'll see what happens. If March 24th is correct, then we'll know this is naturally a legit thing. Now, in terms of new games being shown off, this list might not excite you so much, I warn, but it is the list that they're providing. Super Mario Batters by Bandai Namco. Uh, so it's a sequel to Mario Sluggers. The visuals look cool, but it will be a downgrade to the previous two Mario baseball games. I think people are just expecting Mario sports games to just be what they are at this point. Uh, next up, Custom Robo V1 Plus 2 by Bandai Namco, releasing on July 7th, two days after my birthday. Uh, by the way, Mario batters or super mario batters is coming out on june 9th supposedly uh next up is the golden sun trilogy it's what camelot's working on right now coming out in september and yeah it's remakes of all the golden sun games which i think will make some people excited uh nintendo has a tendency to not touch the golden sun franchise so it would be really nice to see them and camelot team up and and at least get the old games back with a fresh coat of paint ir mayhem from nd cube Coming out on June 23rd, it's a casual party game that utilizes the Joy-Cons IR camera and motion controls as gimmicks. Now, Nintendo tends to steer away from doing things that disclude the Switch Lite, but the Switch Lite is also the worst selling system. And, you know, maybe this is just this company had an idea to use that IR camera that Nintendo's basically ignored since 1 2 Switch. So. They wanted to take a crack at it, and maybe it was a cheap to produce game, so it's coming out as a party game. Now they don't know they don't have any information on DLC or more partner games yet. What what the person is saying is they don't know anything about third party companies that are non-exclusive games, right? Like is Octopath Traveler 2 gonna be in here? You would presume so, but that's not listed here. Are we gonna see uh, things like Tales of Symphonia Remaster? Again, probably, but it's not gonna be listed here. Are we gonna see DLC for various Nintendo games? Probably, but this person doesn't have knowledge of it. So again, this stuff is probably not real, so we're talking in the realm of more speculation on it, but it is possible. And every time I've been making these direct videos, I've been asking you guys to, to, to comment something down below. The first time was about your dream 10 game lineup for the direct. Last time was about your five realistic expectations for the direct, where people were just giving their the other five list that was yesterday. So today, let's come up with something completely original. I want you to pitch me an original new IP you would like Nintendo to create out of thin air. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a strategy game, a Zelda game that's not a Zelda game. It's just another action adventure game. It'd be nice to have more of those, right? Whatever. You pitch me your dream brand new Nintendo IP. I want Nintendo to make a Stratego style game 
Yes, the board game Stratego, but do it in a classic Nintendo way. What that means, I'll leave to your imaginations. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. We're on this journey to 100,000 subscribers together and beyond. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom as well. And so many amazing things going to be happening this year. Glad you're all with me on this journey. And I'll catch you in that next video.